For years, NVIDIA has been the undisputed king of AI. But a recent breakthrough published in the journal Science has sent a shockwave through the industry, challenging everything we thought we knew about computing. A research team has unveiled LightGen, the world's first all-optical chip designed to run large-scale generative AI. We aren't just talking about a minor upgrade. In head-to-head -head tests, this chip recorded speeds and energy efficiency two orders of magnitude beyond the industry standard NVIDIA A100. It doesn't use transistors. It doesn't move electrons. It performs complex generative tasks using pure light. Is this the beginning of the end for the GPU era, or is it just the latest entry in a high-stakes global race for the future of intelligence? Today, we're looking past the hype to see if LightGen is a true NVIDIA killer, or a laboratory miracle that's still years away from reality. Let's back up. Why does this matter? AI compute demand is growing faster than Moore's law can keep up. Training GPT-4? Hundreds of millions of dollars in compute. Running ChatGPT for millions of users? Entire data centers burning power 24-7. And it's not just about making chips smaller anymore. Even with the most advanced GPUs, performance is increasingly limited by three things. Power delivery, cooling infrastructure, and memory bandwidth. You can have the fastest chip in the world, but if you can't move data to it fast enough or cool it down, you hit a ceiling. So researchers have been asking, what if we don't use electrons at all? What if we use light instead? Here's what makes light interesting for computing. Traditional chips use transistors, tiny switches that turn on and off billions of times per second, controlling the flow of electrons. Optical computing replaces those electrons with light, photons, moving through specialized structures on a chip. Instead of flipping switches, you're changing the properties of light itself to perform calculations. Light travels faster than electrons in silicon. It doesn't generate nearly as much heat, and it can carry multiple streams of information in parallel, different wavelengths, different paths, all at once. But here's the problem. For decades, Optical computing has been stuck doing small, simple tasks. Things like basic image recognition. Anytime you tried to scale it up, you'd hit a wall. You'd need to convert light back into electricity to do complex operations, and that killed the speed advantage. Nobody had figured out how to build a fully optical system that could handle the complexity of modern generative AI. Until now. Meet LightGen, the chip that claims to have cracked this problem. Reported by Xinhua News Agency and published in Science, this is work from a team at Shanghai Jiao Tong University, led by Chen Yitong. LightGen is an all-optical computing chip designed specifically for large-scale semantic generative models, the kind that can create images, video, and 3D scenes. It was demonstrated experimentally, not simulated, not theoretical, built and tested. According to the authors, LightGen achieves three things that hadn't been done together before on a single chip. First, millions of optical neurons integrated on one chip. That's the scale needed for real AI workloads. Second, all optical dimensional transformation. This is critical. It means you can manipulate complex high dimensional data using only light, no electrical conversion needed. Third, a ground-truth-free optical training algorithm for generative models. Basically, a way to train the chip without needing perfect reference data, which makes it practical for real-world use. These are author-reported capabilities, described in the science paper. Independent replication hasn't been widely reported yet, but this is peer-reviewed work in one of the world's top journals. So what does this chip actually do that's different? LightGen can handle the full closed loop of generative AI, input, understanding, semantic manipulation, and generation. Here are the tasks the team demonstrated. High resolution image generation, 512 by 512 pixels or larger. 3D scene generation using NERF, a technique for creating photorealistic 3D models from 2D images. High definition video generation, denoising, cleaning up corrupted or low quality inputs, and both local and global feature transfer, taking elements from one image or video and seamlessly blending them into another. This isn't just inference, running a pre-trained model. This is generative AI end-to-end, -end, optically. 
Previous optical chips could maybe classify images. Is this a cat or a dog? LightGen is creating new images, new video, new 3D worlds, all using light. Now let's talk about the performance claims. Because this is where hype can run wild, and we need to be precise. According to the researchers, LightGen achieves up to two orders of magnitude improvement, that's 100x, in both computing power and energy efficiency compared to state-of-the-art digital chips. And critically, this is even when paired with relatively slower input devices. These gains are reported under the author's experimental conditions and evaluation standards. The paper does not claim that LightGen is ready to replace GPUs tomorrow, or that it can run GPT-4 scale models yet. What it claims is a pathway, a proof of concept at scale. This doesn't destroy GPUs. It doesn't make NVIDIA obsolete overnight but it demonstrates that there is a viable alternative computing pathway for certain AI workloads, especially vision-heavy generative tasks. Let's zoom out. If this scales, and that's still an if, what does it mean? First, energy. AI is becoming one of the largest consumers of electricity globally. If optical chips can deliver the same performance at a fraction of the power cost, that changes the economics of AI deployment especially at the edge, in autonomous systems, in data centers with tight power budgets. Second, memory bandwidth. One of the biggest bottlenecks in modern AI isn't just compute, it's moving data between memory and processes. Optical systems can potentially move data faster and with less energy loss. Third, post-Moore scaling. Moore's law, the idea that chip performance doubles every couple of years, is slowing down we're hitting physical limits on how small we can make transistors. If that continues, the future of AI might not be about smaller transistors, it might be about different physics entirely. There's also a geopolitical dimension here. This work places China among the leading contributors to next-generation non-von Neumann computing research, alongside major efforts in the US and Europe. It's a signal that innovation in AI hardware isn't confined to Silicon Valley. Now let's talk about what this is not, because this is just as important. LightGen is not a commercial product. You can't buy it. It's not in any data center. It's not a general purpose LLM accelerator. It's optimized for specific generative tasks, vision, 3D, video. It has not been proven at GPT scale parameters. Trillions of weights, massive language models. That's a completely different challenge. Here are the big unknowns. Can it scale to trillion parameter models? What's the manufacturing yield? Photonic chips are notoriously difficult to produce at scale with consistent quality. How does it handle memory-heavy workloads? Generative models need massive memory bandwidth. Can an optical system compete with high bandwidth memory on GPUs? And what about training versus inference? Most of the performance gains claimed are for inference, running a trained model. Training from scratch is a different beast. Photonic chips still cannot store memory the way electronic systems can. Long-term hybrid architectures, mixing optical and electronic components, are far more likely than pure optical systems replacing everything. So here's what LightGen really represents. It doesn't replace today's AI hardware, but it shows something important. Generative AI does not have to be electronic by default. For decades, we've assumed AI would be built on faster versions of the same transistor-based chips. LightGen suggests a different path. Maybe the future isn't about making electrons move faster through smaller wires. Maybe it's about abandoning electrons entirely, for certain tasks, at certain scales. If Moore's law is slowing, the next breakthrough in AI might not come from better chip design. It might come from different physics. If the next AI revolution isn't about better GPUs, but about abandoning electrons entirely, are today's chip giants ready for that shift? If you want deep tech stories explained without the hype, subscribe to Quantum Silk Road.